The first thing we'll discuss about Puppet is the use of Puppet Agents. A Puppet Agent is a software package that is installed on each individual server node. A Puppet Agent contains quite a bit of functionality that allows Puppet to do the work of installing and configuring software on each individual server node. A Puppet Agent can be configured to run regularly. For example, the default setting of the Puppet service is to do a Puppet run every 30 minutes. So every 30 minutes, the Puppet Agent wakes up, looks for information about how the system should look, goes about configuring the system, and then sleeping for another 30 minutes. So you can keep a timed view of your infrastructure. You can also run the agent on demand, either through a single command, such as a Puppet Agent-T command, which will run the agent in a terminal window on a server. So it'll contact a master, retrieve a catalog, and do all of the operations of a Puppet Agent. Or we can run it on demand through tooling like mCollective that prompts Puppet Agents to run across an entire infrastructure. Or we can actually have it not run at all and simply wait for manual kickoffs of the Puppet Agent command. A Puppet Agent can also be executed in what's called no-op mode for reporting purposes. So when a Puppet Agent starts in no-op mode, it will retrieve a catalog of how the system should be defined to look and compare it to how the system currently looks and then provide a report of what would have happened on that service should Puppet have managed those resources. Many people will actually use Puppet agents in no-op mode simply to report on changes that may have happened within their infrastructure without doing live management on a consistent basis. A Puppet agent can also execute the entire Puppet lifecycle locally using a command called Puppet apply. So when running Puppet apply on a system, which is an example we'll see later on in this video series, the agent will read a configuration file, compile a catalog, and apply changes to a local system. This type of system is called masterless Puppet and can be used in either a one-off development environment, as we'll see throughout this video series, and it can also be used as a tool to scale large Puppet environments by not using a master infrastructure at all. Instead, each individual node will check out configuration code from a centralized repository and apply those changes locally without making requests or reporting from external resources. Puppet agents are available for a very wide variety of operating systems in different ways. And actually, you'll want to go to the docs.puppetlabs.com site to see guides how to install Puppet agents on your operating system or choice of operating system. Basically, a Puppet agent can run anywhere where a Ruby runtime is supported as Puppet itself is implemented using the Ruby programming language. So Puppet is available preferably using packages supplied for your individual operating system. So for example, you can install Puppet on an Ubuntu machine with a simple apt-get install Puppet using the correct repository, or you can install Puppet using the Ruby gem package infrastructure, or even compiling and executing Puppet from a source tarball for systems that may not otherwise support Puppet as a packaged install. In any case, you'll want to consult docs.puppetlabs.com for detailed guides on how to install and configure Puppet and Puppet agents for your individual operating system, and some hints and tips on how you can automate the installation of those Puppet agents when you create new nodes.